Let's look at a problem now where we're going to have to do a comparison between two countries. In 2000, the population of Greece was 10,600,000, with projections of a population decrease of 28,000 people per year. In the same year, the population of Belgium was 10,200,000, with projections of a population decrease of 12,000 per year. According to these projections, which country will have the greater population in 2035, and by how many more people? Well, we've got a comparison between what's occurring in Greece and what's occurring in Belgium. We're given some information about what the population is in the year 2000. In Greece, we have 10 million 600,000 people. In Belgium, we have 10,200,000 people. Now, let's look at the loss per year. We're told that in Greece, we're going to end up with a decrease of 28,000 people per year. That would be a subtraction of 28,000 people times the number of years that occur. So in our problem, we're going to let x equal the number of years after the year 2000. In Belgium, we have a similar situation. We have a decrease in population, but their rate of decrease is 12,000 per year. So we're going to have to subtract off 12,000 times the number of years that have passed. Now, in order to compare these two populations, we're interested in what occurs in the year 2035. That's going to be 35 years after the year 2000. So we're going to take each of these expressions and substitute in the value of 35 in order to figure out the population. So in the year 2035, the population of Greece would be 10,600,000 10, minus 28,000 times 35. And I've done this calculation prior to this to come up with a value that's equal to 9 million 620,000. Likewise, I'm going to calculate the population of Belgium in the year 2035 by using this expression, 10,200,000 minus 12,000 times 35. And that value ends up being 9,780,000 9, in population. So it turns out that according to these projections, in the year 2035, Belgium, which started off with fewer people, actually ends up with a greater population at that point in time.